very excited to be delivering the lowest carbon footprint asphalt contract ever installed in the UK, which is a fantastic achievement and couldn't be done without the support of our strategic partners, but also local authorities. It's so important local authorities embrace change and, and lead. Hartlepool and Stockton are prepared to lead and that's fantastic for the industry. started 18 months ago carbon reduction workshops and that was looking at various uh, options and opportunities for us as their supplier uh, to provide carbon reduction benefits over what has been previously possible. Uh, those technologies involve uh, bitumen and the latest evolution from our supplier shell, wrap content and recycling into the asphalt mix, uh, low temperature product together with innovations with regard to plant technology so our suppliers Virkin they have provided us support and we've got EV technology with rollers we've got hybrid technology with rollers and we've also our existing kit we've converted use away from traditional fossil fuels onto HVO reducing carbon significantly from the delaying operation. Tomac have a net zero target to get to net zero by 2050. We also have a 30% absolute reduction target to get us to 2030. There's lots of challenges. Obviously we're reliant on very, very new innovations, things that have never been trialled before. And we are reliant on ensuring that our suppliers and our clients work with us to enable us to make these changes to reach the net zero goals we all have. We're very proud to show a number of carbon reduction technologies here today, ranging from our small compact uh, range of uh, wheeled loaders and excavators, all the way up to our 23 tonne excavator and our L120 electric conversion loader. Today we've provided the Zap Shelter system to construct a covered wrap storage facility behind me here. We want to provide prevention rather than the cure to the use of energy consumption. Obviously keeping moisture um, out of the raw material reduces the effort that we need to heat up and dry and also Sirtas playing a pivotal role in providing the clean fuels that are powering up uh, all of those old diesel engines in our equipment. So today we're using greener power, they're providing their green clean mobile power technology to allow us to power up and charge your equipment. Well, Greener Power Solutions have got battery technology which will remove uh, CO2 emissions. The exciting thing about being involved in this project is to showcase exactly um, the road that we're on to zero emissions and CO2 reduction within the construction industry. Also with the help of the John Deere, Benninghoven, Vertgen Group, we really have been advancing the technology in asphalt manufacturing. So with their assistance, we've been trialing new burners. That means we can use new cleaner fuels in the manufacturing of, of the asphalt. We have developed technology where we can reuse recycled asphalt. We are also developing new burner technology uh, using different fuels, which also can help to reduce the carbon footprint in the entire process. Shell have been developing low carbon binders for some time now, however, in collaboration with ourselves, we've pushed the boundaries for this contract and we're actually using the lowest carbon binder ever produced in the UK. So we have provided Carafel Tage Safe, which is our long-lasting pavement technology bitumen, and that is looking at the circular economy principles of extending pavement life and reducing operational carbon. We have also launched the Carbon Sink 375 product, which is a higher biogenic content than our previous iteration, looking at a further reduction in, in embodied carbon on the pathway to net zero. By reducing the carbon footprint of the bitumen, we reduce the carbon footprint of the asphalt, and therefore we can deliver the project we want to deliver today. So the A689 um, westbound was a job that we've done for Hartlepool Borough Council. The A689 at Wynyard was chosen for this project. We had a 1.3 kilometre stretch of carriageway that was failing, used at SMA previously and it was 15 years, so it was the end of its life. We used the standard plant we had on site, our PAVA 3CX compact, our 154 rollers. Rather than using normal fuels, we actually used HVO. We also had Virkin supply us Harm HD 90 roller, which was a hybrid, and an EV120 roller, so that was electric. Uh, it's four hour charge time and eight hours of operation, so it really gives you that flexibility on the job site, reducing, taking away emissions. We used a subcontractor called Todd's, 
They ran their planers off HVO as well. We also used a spray tanker from Thriplow. That was an EV tanker, um, so that was good to see on site. We also used a tractor unit delivering material, which was also an EV unit from Volvo. As well as the Hartlepool contract, we've also done work for our Stockton Borough Council. Here in Stockton, we've already reduced our carbon emissions by 60%. The fact that this scheme is delivered with up to 80% reduction, carbon reduction is, uh, is groundbreaking and to, uh, to be able to include that in our contribution to achieving net zero is an amazing thing. The jobs were residential, we kind of used the same materials and machinery. One of the jobs was this roundabout just behind us. Having the EV rollers on site was a massive benefit, especially like there's ones in Stockton where you're working on a residential sort of street. They're a lot more quieter, so you're not getting any of the noise pollution. This is about the art of the possible. The strategic partnerships we have in place with our suppliers are enabling us to trial new innovations and new technologies to show our clients how we can get net zero road construction. We will not achieve this alone. We will use our strategic partners' innovations in combination with their own to deliver the full package for our clients and for the public. We all have to collaborate together. We need to work in a new way of, and play that strength of partnership in the value chain to make these carbon-free solutions happen for real in the job site. With all innovations, you have a new uh, piece of equipment or a new technology and there's a cost to it. However, as with all matters in society, if you upscale volume, you reduce cost. It's so important local authorities embrace change and, and lead. They're leading, they're allowing us to lead, and that's fantastic. For this kind of project to be sustainable, we need more councils and more organisations to be on board with, with the technology that we're using today. It's groundbreaking and, uh, and truly exciting to be a part of it. And it's great to be able to work with a client that's prepared to work collaboratively with us to embrace what we believe we can provide as a solution and to see the results today is fantastic. Projects like this are helping Hartlepool to get the targets from net zero. We're using the latest technologies, it's a thing we all need to do and we think this is the way forward. Pretty proud knowing that all the effort that myself and all the team put in, the subcontractors, everyone working together, we managed to pull it off.